We're heading towards the middle of March and this is the longest, harshest winter I can ever remember. It's been so hard to get through it. I'll never forget this. Well, it's going to be something what we're going to be co we have coming up uh, in the next month or so. We'll be talking about party songs. Have you noticed that clothes that they're selling now all look like pajama tops? Oh my gosh, look what I found. The very last tube of Poet's Daffodil in the United States. Isn't that cool? Look at that model. And she's not airbrushed either. Look at those wrinkles. I love it. She looks beautiful. She looks absolutely beautiful. to see you today thank you so much for coming back and seeing me and Desi I just love it that you do that so I hope you had a wonderful week and I missed you last week you know there were there were so many crazy things going on and you know life kind of hit me from behind and I couldn't do a video last week and but I, I did upload a, a picture uh, in the community section of me and Desi, and you guys found it, and you left the most beautiful, loving, supportive comments, so thank you so much. And I also had uh, announced that I'm doing my four years on YouTube video, like I always do in March, and uh, for that video I, have, I always have a giveaway, and I take uh, questions. So, and Desi is taking questions too. So you left your questions in that community section. So I, I just got the biggest kick out of that because Friday night was kind of a rough night last week. February favorite I want to share with you is something for my hair whenever I get real stressed out you can really see it in my hair and especially at the ends the ends get a little frizzy and very very thin so I do use a, a few hair masks but I did actually buy one too this is uh, Amico this is soul food for your hair and it's a mask and you don't put this you know uh, by your roots you only use this uh, on the ends. So my stylist told me to uh, try to shampoo my hair, not every day, but every other day, and then always use this. So I've been having some very, very good results with this. You know, I think this is the most powerful hair mask I've ever used. And every time my stylist, if she used this on my hair, it would cost me 20 extra dollars when she does my hair. So she said, you know, to get a, a lot more bang for your buck, just buy this. So I did. You know, nine years ago, I went to a plastic surgeon to get an estimate on the work that would need to be done. And he said at that particular time I wasn't a candidate for a facelift but he told me to stop drinking caffeine and that would take five years off my face and I thought to myself forget it I'm not giving up coffee I love coffee well okay in February I gave coffee up but not for my face 
I gave coffee up because I thought it was giving me headaches, it made me a little nervous, it increased my appetite, and it made my heart race. So that sounded awful. <laughs> but, you know, I love my, my coffee in the morning, three big cups of coffee with vanilla creamer. Well, I gave it up. So I switched over to decaf, which is wonderful because a friend of mine told me that there's 14% caffeine in decaf coffee. So like, okay, so psychologically I'm thinking, well, I gave up coffee, but did I? I don't know. Anyway, I still have my three cups in the morning, but it's decaf. And oh, I'm so much more relaxed and I don't get the amount of headaches. It was a grueling couple weeks to get through it though, to, to go cold turkey, but that leads me to my second favorite in February, and that is my chamomile uh, tea that I drink at night. So I treat myself to one or two cups of tea before I go to bed, you know, when I'm answering comments on the computer or reading the news or just doing anything with Desi. I mean, I have a hot cup of tea, and yeah, so this was definitely one of my favorites and I started drinking, I went back and I started drinking my oolong tea too. I, I drink that in the afternoon and I've lost a couple pounds. So I'm going to keep drinking tea because I swear every time I drink tea I lose weight. Yeah, it's just, it's so desolate. You know, because February was a rough month, I tried to surround myself with things uh, that uh, were happy. And, uh, you know, it all started when I kind of went into the drugstore and I picked up this top coat and it had the polka dot top on it. And I thought that was so cheerful. And so I started to fall in love with polka dots and stripes. And I remember that scene in Pretty Woman where she has that beautiful uh, brown dress on and it's white polka dots. And I don't know, it just, it made me happy. So um, I went out and I got my polka dot blouse and I got another polka dot blouse. <laughs> and then I got a more tailored one with stripes. But I just, I don't know. They just make me so happy. and. And, and I just love them. And, you know, I think you can make them hip by, you know, belting them or with the right accessories. Um, yeah, I, I think you can make uh, polka dots and stripes look, you know, very fresh for 2019. Lip Vibes from Alme. Have you seen these? These are, the packaging is so beautiful. And this one, this shade is called Believe. How cool is that? <laughs> it's so zen. But it's a beautiful, beautiful uh, wine shade. You know, I love my wines. But it, it lasts and it's moisturizing. And I just, I love this lipstick and it's called Believe and they have you know other shades like Secrets and Dreams and I don't know isn't that kind of cute I thought it was kind of cute oh so many supplements in so little time <laughs> oh my look at this one horny goat weed with maca oh, okay exotic herbal formula <laughs> well I'm glad it has maca <laughs> I mentioned a couple weeks ago that I wasn't able to get my Poet's Daffodil, so I started to use the Boots Number no. 7 Night Cream. And this has uh, the alfalfa in it and the sugar beets and the retinol pomatate and a lot of shea butter. So uh, it has some similar ingredients as my uh, Poet's Daffodil. So, you know. I'm using it. Uh, I'm using it uh, every night, so I want to report back to you what I think. But in the meantime, I wanted to let you know that Boots Number no. Seven uh, sent me samples to try their whole line. Uh, they have uh, an oil, uh, a hoba oil, and they have a serum, a day and night serum that I'm trying. And what else? Oh, they have a micellar water. They have an eye cream and they have a day cream and a night cream and I'm already using my own uh, night cream but this is well let me get the eye cream back here for you but anyway <laughs> this is what they sent me this right here is 
<laughs> I feel so stupid. Anyway, I feel like QVC. Anyway, this is what they sent me, so I did not uh, buy these particular products, but this is just a fluke because I bought this before this was sent to me, before I even knew this was going to be sent to me, so that's pretty cool. But anyway, I wanted to tell you that I am trying out these products. Another one of my February favorites was my uh, Bellonita uh, handbag. And not only is it beautiful, but if you're ever feeling a little bit down uh, and you want to talk to somebody, walk into a room with this bag because women will come out of nowhere and be so lovely and say, where did you get that bag? That bag is so beautiful. Where can I get one? And then they they have you explain, you know, the symbolism of it. And uh, it's just, this bag. If you don't like to talk to people, don't get this bag. <laughs> 185. Was there anybody more beautiful than Liz Taylor? I don't think so. Before I tell you about what my number one favorite was for February, I wanted to tell you about my one fail. And it was a really major fail. And it is the new foundation by L'Oreal. It is the um, the 24-hour uh, fresh wear. <laughs> Isn't that a cool name? Fresh wear. I don't know. Anyway, so I had high hopes for it because this is the kind of foundation that I think either you love or hate it. And all I've seen is a sea of, I love it, uh, reviews of it. So I had high hopes for it. And like one day I had to go to the DMV and, you know, renew my, um, my tags for my car. And I had to wait, you know, there for like three hours. But anyway, so I just put this on in the morning. It went on great. And you know, it, it just, it looked, yeah, I was feeling spiffy, you know, and anyway, so I went into the DMV and then three hours later, I come out to my car and it is a mess, a complete, every line, every pore is accentuated. I look 120 years old with this foundation. So, and I did go ahead and I tried it with three or four different primers. There's nothing that, no, no. I think if you're in your 30s, your 40s, your 50s, I think this is going to be beautiful on you. But I think if you are a woman like me in her 60s, if you have uh, some pore issues, if you have some texture issues, I don't think that this uh, foundation is going to work for you. You know, my number one favorite for February was an accident. And that accident was in December. I needed a GPS because I was driving to my son's home and I was so afraid I was going to get lost. And Christmas Eve day, I ran into Best Buy and they had one, one GPS left. And it was the $225 one, the Garmin Smart Drive 61, this one. If you have any anxiety driving, like I do, I'm dyslexic. So the older I get, the more dyslexic I have become. So everything is backwards. So when I'm driving, I, I can be very anxious. You know, if I if I hit a detour, Lord knows where I'll end up. You know, hi to my friends in Georgia. I mean, who knows? I mean, it's it's just it's scary to me. So the wonderful thing about this GPS is it's like a little TV right on your dash. It looks beautiful. Lifetime of update you know, maps and that kind of stuff, but it does 1,000 things. And it's so beautiful. It hooks up with my phone so I get phone calls through it. I click on the icon maps and so it's with me every second of the way, monitoring the weather, monitoring the traffic, and letting me know what the speed limit is and if I've gone over the speed limit. Really? It's like a husband just sitting there. I mean, but I mean, that's only that that's just scratching the surface of, of what this can do. You can punch it in. It's voice activated. Also, um, it has a feature where if I'm lost and I don't know where I'm at and, and I need help, all I all I have to do is just click on the icon that says, where am I? <laughs> that was made for me. Where am I? <laughs> anyway, where am I feature will tell me exactly where I am and where are the closest hospitals, the police, uh, restaurants, rest area. 
you know, I really love my Garmin and it just sits so securely and I don't think it's unattractive at all. And it, it's like a little mini TV and I don't know, it's just like having a, it's like having your best friend in the car. When I get an adapter, this uh, screen can actually be my backup camera. My backup camera is pretty small. It's in my rear view mirror. So, I mean, what doesn't this do? Well, that's my February favorites, and I had such a good time going through them with you. And it is amazing that I had so many things that added to the quality of my life, and especially those that seemed to calm my nerves down a little bit. It made me feel secure. I'm a long gone daddy in the USA. I wanted to give you all a quick life update. Uh, a lot of you know that I've had to step up my visits uh, to go see Bill uh, at the home. So uh, I I've been away from home quite a bit and haven't been able to film uh, like the old days. And I've been researching my father and his, and, uh, and his family, I guess my family, his family. A anyway, the things I've, I've been finding out, I can't wait to tell you. On Facebook, um, I, I put a picture of Bill and myself and his very favorite aide, Joyce. And Joyce is his favorite aide, uh, well, for one reason, before he goes to bed at night, if I haven't been able to get there that day, he likes to talk to me on the phone before he goes to sleep, but he can't dial the phone, so she dials it for him. And she gets me on the line and says, can you talk? And anyway, she enriches his life and, and my life, and... Joyce has been there for, for over 30 years. Anyway, one of my uh, beautiful friends, subscribers, saw that picture of the three of us. And uh, for my birthday, she sent a little gift to me, and she also sent this. This is a gift for me to give to Joyce, Bill's favorite aide. And... Uh, the gal who sent this is a wonderful gal named Jan, and she used to be a nurse herself, so she knows what, what Joyce goes through, the hard work for so many decades. Underpaid, overworked, but still such a loving heart. So I am so excited to give <laughs> Joyce. She will not believe this. This week, uh, when Bill and I were, were chatting, out of the blue, he said, you know, when we were dating, I was head over heels in love with you, but I didn't want you to know it. And you were the first girl that I ever fell madly in love with that loved me back. And I didn't know that. It, I honestly never knew that. When Bill and I were dating, he really did play hard to get, and I chased him all around. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to sugarcoat it. I mean, we had a happy marriage for a long time, but the last few years were tough. They were very hurtful. But I always remember what my mom used to say. Hurt people hurt people. But I always, I always wanted to believe, and I still do, that hurt people can mend. If, if they get enough love, they can mend. At least I hope so. I hope so. And I ask you once, would you do it all again? And you said to me, we take love. Everybody, thank you so much for hanging in there with me and Desi. I loved every second of it. And if you have any questions for the anniversary video, just drop them below. And um, Desi is also taking questions too. The number one question for Desi is, does he like the snow? And I tell you right off the bat, no, he doesn't. <laughs> he, does, he, he looks at me like, Mom, why can't we move to Florida? <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. You have a wonderful brand new week. And when you're done with your week, come back and see us, okay? All right, it's a deal.
great night.